Okay, Haley. The St. Francis Pet Clinic. One twice a day. All right, see you, Marianne. Has been in Ketchum since the 80s. Oh, okay, all the way up. Run by Dr. Karsten Fosvet, he has seen almost all the Wood River Valley has to offer. Okay, good. Hi, you're okay. When it comes to pets. Yeah, what a good girl. Dr. Fosvet says 70% of his practice is dogs. All right, kiddo. Let's give him a treat. Another 29% is cats. And 1%. Things like chinchillas and parrots and anything else that comes in. One of those one percenters. I skied with the Kennedy family every Christmas. Is Carl Besnoska. That's Bobby Kennedy. A former Sun Valley ski instructor in the 60s and 70s. Flip yes. Wilson. Flip Wilson. <laughs> Carl has seen his share of celebrities. And this is with the Duke. But for the last decade, he has shared his home with a somewhat celebrity. Okay, give me a, give me a big snake. Houdini. His 13 foot, 65 pound Burmese python. He bought in Boise way back in 1990. He is heavy. Houdini, who is now blind, came to be known around the world 10 summers ago. Calgary, Jackson, <laughs> Casper Star, Columbus Dispatch, Indianapolis. Those are just some of the places who wanted a piece of this python story. Because of uh, why he swallowed the electric blanket. Yeah, I mean, it's not like he swallowed a kid. You heard him. Fox News, USA Today. Houdini, while eating his monthly meal of rabbit, swallowed an electric blanket. It was at night when I fed him, and then the next morning I looked, I can't find that blanket anymore in there. So Carl called his vet. He goes, I promise you, I fed the rabbit on the blanket. The rabbit's gone and the blanket's gone. I don't know where they are. A series of x-rays later was all the doubtful doctor needed. And lo and behold, all I saw was all these electric wires inside this snake. And I said, where do I go from here? Well, he went to the phone and called a snake specialist in California, who talked him through a two and a half hour surgery to remove the queen size blanket from the king size snake, a procedure Dr. Fosfet had never done. Never, and I, ha I probably will never do it again the rest of my life. Houdini was stitched up and sent home, but the news agencies kept calling. We were besieged for at least the next three days to, uh, to talk about this stupid snake that swallowed this blanket. Dr. Fosfet wasn't sure the stupid snake would survive the week. But Houdini, now nearly 30 years old and shedding his skin, comes off easier at the bottom than, the, than at the top, has outlived his life expectancy by a decade. Oh, come on. Houdini. <sighs> it seems Houdini has stretched his 15 minutes of fame to 10 extra years of life. So you're shedding. And a few extra dinners, which Houdini is now due. We'll see. I'll try tomorrow again. No more electric blankets. No more electric blankets. Brian Holmes, <laughs> Idaho's News Channel 7.